Hey, welcome back to Thrifting Bean. My name is Rachel and I'm a part-time reseller. Um, today's video is going to be top tens of my top 10 of my bargains which I found, which I flipped for a profit. Unfortunately, eBay only goes back 90 days, so it will be this past 90 days. I'll run through some of the stuff which I got and some of the stuff which I flipped for. In no way is it a boast of how much money I have and etc. etc. Some of the items um I just because I love picking it up and it was really fun for me so uh follow along this video and I'll show you my top 10 best buys at charity shops and car boot sales so at number 10 for me is the Ariat jacket this Ariat jacket is an equestrian horse riding jacket I found it at my local charity shop in my town this is a brand which I've heard of before I've heard a lot of Americans talk about Ariat jeans and stuff like that but I found this jacket in the charity shop. I sold it for £50. It was in such good condition inside and out. Where's my number 10? Nine. Number 9, one of my favourites, Christmas decoration. Any vintage Christmas decorations, tinsels, baubles, love it. I found these at a car boot sale. There were two tins of Christmas items. I think the lady just wanted to get rid. She suggested two pound and I was happy to pick that up. I separated this lot up and the lot got me 47.50, an outlay of two pound. Number eight was at a sale trail which I went to um, in the middle of the year. This was at the first initial stall of the lady who was arranging and giving all the maps out. I think it was like 190 something houses, something ridiculous. But she had these vintage plate, uh, Lego plates. I didn't get them all. I thought I'd leave a couple for um, some more resellers if they were going about. But I did pick up a few. I think I paid about eight, seven, eight pound. Eight pounds for those. Um, did you do seven? Yeah, I'll do okay, seven. And I sold them both totaling uh, £51. So unfortunately I didn't get footage of this one. This is a pickup which I got earlier on in the year. It was four Beetleborgs figures. They were in all really good condition. Only one of them had the pistol or blaster. They are vintage 90s. I think I paid £6 for the four and they recently sold for £39.99. Number six was another pickup uh, from the same sale trail which I bought the Lego. There was Monster High Dolls, and I'm trying to think how much I paid for it now, and I can't remember. It comes out about five pounds. Yeah. You say four pounds? Yeah. Yeah. I had a couple of Monster High Dolls upstairs in the loft. I think I had about three upstairs, so I added that to the twelve that I had, making fifteen, and I sold the fifteen for sixty-five pounds, and that went to international which is pretty cool. Oh gosh, it's the Indominus Rex. And I was so pleased uh, when I found this. This is a, a car boot sale. Um, it was quite busy. I managed to find, um, I managed to see his little golden tail and I knew what it was. Probably about three weeks before hand I picked him up. I saw it in the charity shop. Unfortunately, someone got it before me. So I was absolutely stoked that I was able to pick that up for three pound and sold for 65.95. Number four has got to be a really great one. This again is another sale trail, a different, different time and different place. This lady was absolutely gorgeous and her prices were amazing. She was just so gentle and so humble. And they are the Mask Crusaders. I think she was asking £2.50, £3 for the lot. I'm sure 50p, you said. 50p, yeah. 50p. Did you say this one's yeah, a pound? I eventually sold the two separate lots together, totaling £71. It was just so cool to see some nostalgic... 80s toys in really good condition. I don't think I have footage of it is the Isla Jacobson coat. So I got this from a Sue Rider. I think I paid £10 for it, um, which I thought was just a little bit too much. Um, I've never heard of that brand before, but I saw that sold comps were pretty good for that. I listed it for £150. I uh, I got an offer for 130 and I accepted that. It was really, it's a really quick turnaround um, and that's why it's at number three. One, because it made me a good profit and two, that 
Um, it was a quick turnaround. Also, the lady was really nice who bought it from me and gave me amazing feedback. feedback so thank you very much. Okay, so number two is a charity shop find. It is HP printer inks. I found these HP printer inks uh, for an amazing amount of money. I think they were like two pound each. Um, I will double check on the video. The same person brought all of them. Um, I bundled in the postage. And the selling price for that was £173.94p. Um, printer ink does so well for me when you're picking it up for £1, £2, maybe even like £6 or £7. You are definitely going to get a profit and I'm always looking out for Kodak, um, Epson and definitely hate HP printer ink. One. So number one, and it's not the top grossing, it, it's not the the one which gave me the most money in the 90 days, but it is the Transformers. I was doing a sale trail where one of the charity shops is in the summertime, um, and I came across this lady, she was selling these box of Transformers, um, she said that she was holding on for some guy, but he never came back. I offered her the same amount, and then she said, yeah, okay, you can have them. So I paid £10 for the Transformers. Um, there was lots of like nostalgic Transformers there, um, manuals and posters. But for me, it's not top grossing, as in it, it wasn't the most money which I made, but it was just for the nostalgic value. And they were just so cool. They're just so iconic. It was great to have them for a short while and then give them to someone to add the, to their collection. So the Transformers, um, at the moment, because I still have a few posters and a few manuals, have made £136.97p. and That's been so good from £10, from a £10 box um, to £136 has been amazing. Like I said, I've got a couple of posters and a couple of things still listed on eBay, so I'm sure it, we're going to hit £150 out of £10. That is my top 10. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, I'm sure people will thought, like, the, the more money that I've got from, like, the printer ink is going to be my top, but actually for me, just the interaction with the people, uh, definitely the lady with her Transformers, she was really nice and yeah so so let me know what your favorite thing was out of all of my top 10 it'd be good to know what sort of things that you like if you like toys or you like clothing let me know thank you to everybody who has subscribed or say stayed subscribing i've lost a few along the way but thank you for everybody who is hardcore 15 bean uh, subscribers i really appreciate you and thank you for being patient while i was just taking some time to, for some R&R &R and some personal development. So, watch this space, there's plenty of stuff coming out and I hope you have a good week, be blessed.